Here are some simple questions for my Muslim brothers and sisters around the world. According to Quran, chapter 2, verse 187, you should fast until the sun sets. Then my question, if you are fasting, calculating the sun rise and sun set, then why do you depend on the nearby area? To break your fast or to start your fast in Norway or in Iceland or in countries where the sun doesn't rise for six months in a year or the sun doesn't set for six months in a year. Why do you have to rely on the fatwa from Al-Azhar or for any other opinion from anywhere or from any Islamic scholar? Isn't the Quran clear? Chapter 12 verse 1, chapter 18 verse 1. You can't rely on fatwas when the Quran goes against it. So if you hear a fatwa which goes against the Quranic instruction of chapter 2 verse 187, why do you follow it? That's mental gymnastics, isn't it? Isn't that proof enough? that Quran has become obsolete in the modern life. Now, what about the exoplanets? What if we are visited by aliens? Do you believe those aliens will revere Muhammad and they will go to Mecca for Hajj? Do you honestly believe they believe in Quran if there are aliens out there? If not, and if you believe, they might be worshipping the same God in a different manner or by following other prophets from the same God, Allah. Then my question is, why do I have to worry about Quran or for Muhammad anyway? Can't we just follow our conscience, common sense, reason? Even if we are believing in the possibility of a creating power, Isn't that a better option? Why not? Why do you think the God up there who created such a vast universe cares for your bowing?